Hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and we are here with the Gardening Flags review. Now, first off, I actually really like the designs they've actually done on the flags. I know this is going to sound a little bit weird, but I wish they weren't so wavy, because the actual design is so brilliant. I would love these as like a poster or a flag that I could put on my wall, but they're so flappy that you can't really enjoy them. It looks like there's a 30 mile per hour wind going by and they just flop all over the place. That said, really nice design. The first one's a unique design. The second and third is literally just a grayscale version of the second. But all three look good. If you're a farmer and you, or you're making a farming community type roleplay camp, this would actually be kind of cool to have. It actually gave me some ideas for a future project. Up next is this red version. Now we've seen this before. The Free States had it. And it was a blue Free States truck. It always bugged the crap out of me that it was Free States because I'm not a fan of the Free States. I know a lot of people enjoy them. But I like stuff that looks like it could be used by any faction. I just never felt that the Free States would, you know, repaint an entire cargo vehicle like this. But it looks great. They did a lot more detail work. You can see a lot of junk in it, mattresses, uh, everything in here. It looks good. It looks beat up, rusted. I mean, it's got the tarp covering it. Definitely has that caravan style look like someone's going to hook this up to a pack Brahmin and head out at any moment. Now, next up, we got the industrial door, and I put it in this vault frame just because it fell about right. It does... I would definitely say that the door and this are my two favorite items of this. It does have a nice look. Beat up, banged up. Looks like you just stole it off of a building. It even has the little door closing device up top. I wish it would auto-close. Um, but otherwise, it looks great. I really, though, wish the glass was see-through. I think that would have added an extra level of detail to it. We got the floater mobile here. And I, you know, this is definitely for a person who enjoys the floaters. Um, I think it's kind of cute, but it's not personally me. Uh, I would be a little concerned if I walked into a, you know, if I was actually walked into a person's house like this and they had these, I'd be a little concerned by them because I'd be worried that they were worshipping floaters. Now, next up is finally the curtains. Now, these do snap right into the wall right at this point. I put them over this wooden window. As you can see, they look pretty solid. I mean, they don't have anything per se unique to them as in a faction or something but if you're doing a more upscale house it has that nice design to it makes a nice design outside you know you can see it through we've seen a couple of different curtains like this and the white you know if you're looking for a more multi-use one I guess that would be a good one it definitely does have a unique look to it. Uh, I don't know at the bottom. I was looking at that. I can't tell if that's a design. Like this little ridge right here. Or it's it's like... I, I couldn't figure out when I was looking at it. Is that an actual part of the actual design? Like is it supposed to have some sort of dust cover at the bottom? Or is that just a weird... You know, glitch line. But either way, the top part of it looks solid. Bottom part, I mean, I guess it's dust cover or something along those lines. But otherwise, uh, good pack. If you like the flags and you like this truck and the door, I mean, basically that's free when you look at it if you're going to get those. Uh, each item is solid. I mean, it definitely will depend on your personal taste. You know, some people will probably get the caravan or the industrial door, but maybe not the flag. Some people get the whole pack. 
If you enjoyed this, give me a like, give me a subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Okay, and I hope you all have a nice week.